Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain about the hydraulic cylinder sequencing circuits working. Okay, this is the circuit for the hydraulic cylinder sequencing. The sequencing means the extension or extending of the cylinder is taking place one after another or retraction is taking place also one after the another. That is called as a sequencing. And the sequencing circuit, it consists of a tank, filter, pump and pressure relief hall and 4 by 3 direction control hall and two flow control hall. Those are called as a sequencing halls. And two check valves are used in the circuit and the two double acting cylinders, cylinder 1 and the cylinder 2. And during the its operation, when the direction control valve is actuated to the left envelope, then the flow from the pump is directed to the this line. And in this line, the flow is taking place, but here there is a check valve. There is a check valve in that direction, there is no flow. And also, the uh, sequencing valve or a flow control valve is there which will be pilot operated up to the certain pressure it will not get actuated and it, therefore in this direction there is no flow is taking place when it is actuated to the left envelope the flow is taking place to the cylinder one on the piston end side therefore extend extending of the cylinder one is taking place the extending of the cylinder one will be taking place then the flow down the rod end side of the cylinder one will be going back through this check hole the check hole is open and through that it goes to the tank it goes to the tank and the complete extending of the cylinder one will be taking place after the complete ex extending the pressure will be built up in the circuit and due to that here the, there is a non return hole in this direction there is no flow and this sequencing valve or a flow control valve which, which will be actuated by the pressure in the line pressure in the circuit and that will allow the flow of the fluid through the it at a higher pressure then the it will goes to the piston and side of the cylinder 2 then the extending of the cylinder 2 taking place after the extending of the cylinder 1 and when the direction control valve is actuated to the right envelope. The flow is taking place through this line and that connect to the this. And here the flow in this direction, it will not go as there is a check valve and this is the sequencing valve which will not allow the flow at a lower pressure. Then it goes to the rod and cylinder of the rod and side of the cylinder 2 through this line. Then the fluid from this uh, piston end side of the cylinder 2 will be going through the check valve as it opens in this direction then going back to the this tank and here the retraction of the cylinder is taking place during this operation and after the complete retraction okay the pump will be continuously running therefore it will pressure will be built up in the circuit and there the whatever this check valve is there, it will close in this direction. By the pilot pressure operation, this sequencing hall will be get opens. Get opens, it allows the flow of the fluid to the this cylinder one on the rod and side. Then retraction of the cylinder two after the retraction of the cylinder uh, cylinder one after the retraction of the cylinder two taking place. Is in this one. The extending will be taking place first cylinder 1 and cylinder 2. Retraction will be taking place cylinder 2 first and the cylinder 1 later. That is called a sequencing of the cylinders. Here the two cylinders we have taken as the examples and the number of cylinder extension and retraction sequentially we can take play. We can take use for the operation of the any application. Here that can be explained as a sequence valve causes the operation in hydraulic circuit to behave sequentially. When the direction control valve is shifted into its left envelope mode, the left cylinder extends completely and then the right cylinder 
extends. The direction control valve is then shifted into its right envelope mode. The cylinder, right cylinder retracts fully. Right cylinder means cylinder 2. And then left cylinder, that is cylinder 1, retracts. This sequence of cylinder operation is controlled by the sequence valve. The spring centered position of the DCV locks both the cylinders in place. The spring cylinder will be a, a locks at the in place. Thanks for watching. If you like, share, subscribe, and comment.